everyone welcome to my full season commentary video here of art transformation so this is gonna be my full entire commentary of season one of AT here um, this is my first time discussing this so I won't be editing this recording as much as I normally do with my usual art transformation videos so this is going to be unscripted so if it sounds a little awkward I'm really sorry about that but this is the best I can really do in fact I actually had to delete my original commentary voiceover because it was just so bad there and the audio quality was just so horrible so I'm redoing it again unfortunately so uh, hopefully this one goes a lot better but anyways this is my discussion on the first episode here of our transformations which was called Nathan the boy um, I really I'm okay with this one but I wish I would have at least changed the music and not speed up the snapshots the snapshots so fast on my first episode and especially editing editing a different music on that because that's a very typical royalty free music that was I found on YouTube I mean I still get that there but I've definitely gotten a lot better royalty free music nowadays than what it used to be about almost four years ago but um, I mean, the artwork was okay. I mean, I might do a revamp on it. I won't, I probably won't do the rainbow shirt again on that one if I do a revamp on that, but I'll definitely do the character design again someday. I just don't know when. I mean, that was really by random, honestly, for that character. It was actually out of a dream I had years ago. I don't even remember quite remember what that dream was about but it was years ago and that's pretty much how I made that artwork honestly and it started off the series pretty well that I think that video actually has over a hundred uh, views now on that one so I that wasn't too bad for it I mean I still have a pretty tiny ass channel to begin with but um, the second episode here I think it was called sea foam of Green, I don't know. Um, you saw it earlier, and um, I'm gonna be really honest with you. This is another artwork I just thought was okay. I wish I would have added a lot more different colors on here besides that teal or purple and blue and all that. I wish I would have added like at least some yellow. And this was out of an OC I did years ago called, called Sunny Cloud. <laughs> Sorry if you hear the video calls at the background. My neighbors are working on cars right now, and this is the best I can record this. I mean, I already had struggled recording this audio earlier today, and so <laughs> I got pretty flustered about it. But yeah, about that one artwork, Seafoam Green. Um, again, I think it's okay. I mean, like. I wish the highlights and shading was definitely a lot better than what I did there. I probably won't do a revamp artwork on that one. Now this one here is my first ever fan art episode of Art Transformations. And this was my fan art of Panic at the Disco. I, I still like it. However, I do have some critiques I would have fixed. I wish I would have made Brendan's forehead a lot bigger. Because if you actually see photos of Brandon in general, like, he has a big-ass forehead. I don't know why I didn't do that before, and I, I should have fixed that a long time ago when I first made this artwork. But if that's, like, the really only big critique here, I mean, I think all the, all the rest of the... Uh, band members here I did and this was a fan art I did back in 2015 so the band members have definitely changed I mean Dolan Wakes is in this one but he's if you don't know he's not in the band uh, Panic at the Disco anymore since 2017 he got out of that but I will say that 
Um, this one's one of the ones I didn't know if I wanted to remove this video off of my channel because Kenny at the very left is on this fan art. Now, despite the major, the big controversies that he caused with sexual misconduct, I don't think I'll take it down because, um, it's not like he molested any of the women. It's not, and it's not like he was, you know, trying to, you know, physically, sexually harass, really, but he definitely is a very questionable person in general, and, um, am I saying he's the worst person? No, I'm just very disappointed of what he did now. I mean, that tweet I posted, uh, last year, I, I, I was overboard about it, but still, uh, he should have definitely known a lot better. I mean, I'm not gonna take this artwork down. I don't think, unless if Kenny really did something bad, let's say, raping somebody, then probably yes. I don't know for sure, but I really doubt about that with him. But overall, I still like this fan art. I just wish that Brennan's forehead was a lot bigger, like I said. Now, this one for episode four was a fan art of Gerard Way. <laughs> you know, really looking back into it, this looks nothing like him. Like, nothing at all. I mean, I don't even know. This is one of those episodes of Art Transformations I just don't like in general. And, you know, it, it's one of those things where I wish it would have done a lot better in the artwork. I pretty much, this was one of those artworks I really didn't want to do, but somebody, I think somebody suggested me that I should do a Christmas artwork, and it was just at the last minute, this was right out of the slam, out of my ass. I mean, <laughs> I, I'm not even making any sense at all, but this is one of those artworks I just do not like at all. Like, not only does it look nothing like him, just the overall aesthetic and design, I'm just not a fan of it. I've never really been a fan of like the whole super uh, Christmas holiday themed kind of artworks in general. That's why I don't like um, working on artworks um, that are mostly like Christmas or mostly like um, harvesting and stuff. I, I've just never been a fan of that in general. Like even back then when I was a kid, I just never really cared for it. And now in this episode, it's literally just a, uh, some artworks I've definitely done that couldn't fit for a full video, so... Honestly, I personally think this is one of the better ones I've done this season one, uh, of Art Transformations. I mean, again, I think the only criticism I have about this one is that I wish I would have, uh, used a different royalty free music on this video. I mean, with that Panic one earlier I did, um, I actually had to remove that song in this video because I don't want to get a copyright strike from this video because it was literally Panic at the Disco song. Um, uh, I think it was Vegas Lights. Yeah, that's in the original video too on my channel. I'm surprised that video hasn't been taken down after that, but... This is, I was still not learning, you know, proper ways to get prop, um, did, um, I was still not quite learning the, about the copyright claims and all that when it comes to adding songs and videos and all that, and so I've definitely learned from that nowadays, but back then, like, even a few years ago, I really did not quite learn that. Now that Fall Out Boy artwork you saw there, um... I'm being really honest with you. I wish I would have just kept that as a line art right there. And that should have honestly never been in, in the video at all. Uh, I was actually originally supposed to give that painting to Fall Out Boy back in 2016. Or at least give it to a security guard when I went to go see him live on um, the Wells Fargo Arena back then. But they wouldn't allow me to. 
And I'm kind of glad I didn't because I don't like that artwork. That's one of those uh, fan art I really don't like nowadays, now looking back to it. Like, just that one was just not good. And, like, the other artwork, like that Valentine's Day one, again, that's not my aesthetic, especially nowadays. And I just don't like that one either. And now, as you can really see right here, I was starting to do um, promoting my own... Um, uh, social media before the beginning of a video I did. Um, I'm glad I don't do that, really, unless it's the very end. So, I'm really glad, and plus the voiceover on that, the recording was just terrible. I don't know why I put that there. And, again, I don't know why I put this intro here, either. I think the last time I did it was in one of my episodes or my art gallery video i did this until um i think episode 11 or something i think uh episode 11 i stopped doing this and i'm glad i did because i really don't like what i did here now this is another fan art i did of garnet from steven universe um i don't mind this one i really don't um Again, I, kn I know it just sounds like that I'm just criticizing my own artwork altogether, but, you know, this was almost uh, four years ago, and my artwork has pretty much changed a lot since then. I mean, I don't really do a bunch of, like, these super neon disco colors anymore like I used to in the past. I mean, I pretty much know what my aesthetic is nowadays. And it's changed a lot since then. And, I mean, I still like it, don't get me wrong. I really, this is one of the few um, ones that are the more super colorful artworks I actually still like. And this was the one I actually did my own background. And I didn't just, you know, steal it from Google Images or anything. I actually made a background on that one, so I'm- this one I thought was okay. I wish her head size wasn't so damn tiny. I wish it was a bit bigger, but overall, if that's the only real big criticism I have in that artwork, I did- I did a pretty good job on that one. And this one is my fan of, of LED from Monster High, and I'm not gonna lie, this is one of the few Monster High fan art I really like a lot. Like, I'm not saying Season 1 was terrible of art transformations. There was uh, a few artworks I really like in the season. And there's gonna be a couple later on I really enjoy a lot more too that are the last episodes of Season 1 here. So, I th this, this is probably one of the best not only the best Monster High fan art I've done, I think this is also one of the best fan art I've done, period. Like, there's there's no doubt in my mind, I really worked my ass off on this one, and I just love it. Again, I did my own background, too, and you'll be seeing it. Uh, for some reason, when I did Season 1 of Art Transformations, I did not show how I did the background, and... Looking back into it, I wish I would have shown that, because that would have been far more interesting. I mean, once season two came out, I think, I think it was season two. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was season two of AT. Once that came out, I finally show um, how I made the backgrounds, and I'm not gonna lie. When I actually did put a lot more effort on my backgrounds, it did look pretty cool. Like... I will admit, but for some reason, you know, like, I was not the best at making backgrounds even back then, you know? I mean, I'm not saying I'm perfect at it today, but it's certainly a lot better than it was a few years ago, and this um, series actually came out after I graduated high school anyways, and even then, I mean... <laughs> I mean, you can tell I was still kind of slacking off on the background. I mean, that's the one big thing I have really worked on nowadays with my artwork is definitely the background a lot better than what I used to. And that was the one goal I kept in myself for a long time and I'm still improving, but it is, it's definitely a lot better than it was. And so, 
that's it for that one. And oh, um, going back to that um episode um with all the other artworks that didn't have enough time to have their own episodes, which was episode five. Um, that uh fan art of the producers was actually request. I mean. Um, I still like that one, but it's not my favorite fan art I've done, or favorite artwork in general. Um, that Jimmy Urine one, again, the same thing, but, um, I actually, um, got, when I posted, um, that fan art of Jimmy Urine from MSI, um, Jimmy Urine himself actually liked that post on Instagram, so thank you, Jimmy. I've never got to tell anybody this, but yeah. He, um, liked, uh, a couple of my artworks in the past, and I'm, I, I mean, it's not every day you get a celebrity liking your artwork, so, <laughs> he probably doesn't remember it very well, but I definitely do, and th that, that's still a crazy story to be talking about that. Now, this is, uh, Barky, this is, um, actually a family member's cat, which is my aunt, my cousin's cat at the time, um, Unfortunately, this cat uh, passed away last year, but he was such a friendly cat. He was like the gentle giant uh, for cats in general. I mean, I know it doesn't really make much sense, but he really was. I mean, he was a Norwegian forest cat. I mean, he was a big cat, but he was he was such a sweetheart. And I really like drawing um, my cousin's cat a lot. And he was just such an interesting cat to draw. And I know, I was saying cat, cat, cat all, all over the place. I mean, and I like that word a lot too. So I, I know that sounds stupid, but um, for this artwork, I, I did different colored of outlines too. I'm going to, if you guys want me to do that kind of um, style again, where I just color in the outlines, uh, feel free to let me know because I would like to do it again. I mean, it's a hell of a lot of more, uh, a lot more work than the traditional normal black outlines, but I think I could pull it off again. I mean, I really like doing this one. It's not my favorite artwork that I've done again, but it's definitely one of the better ones of season one of Art Transformations. I've really liked this one. And, um, I don't know if you can hear from the background music earlier, but I was really into Vaporwave and Future Funk music for about almost a year. And, um, that was, like, only the few music I was really listening to at the time. And, yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, I still like it, but I still prefer my rock and metal music a lot more nowadays. Um, what else is there... Um, I think the only real big criticism I have in that Barky artwork is that I wish the whiskers were so bulky looking. I wish they had more like a, a swoop on the whiskers. But if that's really only super big criticism and I wish the background was a lot more creative instead of just like um, a fading color. then uh, But those are like very minor criticisms to me. Maybe not the whisker so much. Um, the background's definitely more of a minor criticism. Now, this is my fan art, Pete Wentz. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't like this artwork at all. Like, I was trying to do something to get a video out. And, man, I really don't like this episode. Not only just this episode, but just this artwork of Pete Wentz in general. I've... Like, even when I was not doing a very good job making a fan art Pete once, I was still at least trying to put a lot more effort into what I was doing. And I just don't like it. Like, it's just very bland. And uh, I hate the background. I mean, even though I made the background myself, I, I hate it. I just don't like it. And it's just very weird looking, especially the mouth I made. That's not how... Pete when smiles. I mean, that's that's weird looking. Now looking back into it, that I just don't like this artwork. I've really don't, and I've tried to like it. Even like um, last year, I looked back to my old artwork um, when I went to my Deviant Art page. I just I don't like this one. I just this is one of those fan arts that I've created that made me cringe to this day. I just. Um, again, um, I, I don't know, uh, 
I don't know what to say. I, I just don't like it, and I, I, I should have done a lot better. I should have at least made his mouth a lot um, more of... I should have looked at the photos of Pete Wentz a lot more to know how um, his facial structures really worked a lot better. I should have just done a lot better. Just everything. I mean, the out coloring the outlines, I think I did okay. Like, the shading and everything is just... It's so bland. I don't know what I was thinking of this one. And I hate the color scheme on this one. It's way too over-exaggeratedly bright. I, I don't like it. I mean, if you like it, that's totally fine. But looking back into it, I don't like it. Now, this is another one where... Um, this is actually a revamp artwork, but I didn't list it as that. This was a drawing... Um, I did from years ago. It was a digital drawing back from 2012, and um, I mean the drawing's pretty bad, but I was at least trying to attempt to do something more creative, my own style, at least trying to, but um, again, I mean this isn't really the aesthetic I normally go for even today. I mean, it's supposed to be, um, a, oh excuse me. <laughs> I ate something earlier and it won't let me stop burping, but, um, anyways, um, this was an artwork I did uh, a few years, a few years, oh gosh, I cannot speak, a few years ago, and, um, this was an artwork that was originally back from 2012 and I did a re this is the revamp version of it, and, um, I, I think it's okay, um, I think the one major criticism isn't so much just the shading that I did. I think it's just the face I did for this um, guy character. I think it's Stardust. Um, I think that's his name, but yeah. the His face. Oh, I don't like that face I made of this character. You'll be seeing that pretty soon, but it is way too weird to look. I and mean, I thought that Pete Wentz artwork of that... Uh, of the facial structures I thought was weird, but no, this is like at a new level, like, his head is way too, uh, pointy-ish, I say, it looks more like the letter V, almost, like, if you look here, it's just, I don't like it too much, and the face is, it's just weird, once you see it, you'll know what I mean, at least it is to me, and I know it just sounds like I'm bashing my artwork, but I'm just looking at things that, I wish I just would have done a lot better, and oh my goodness, I mean, again, this, I think this was the last artwork I did for a while where I colored in the outlines, and um, this one wasn't too bad, I mean, and I think the other criticism that I'm looking at here is the cat's bottom paw, it, it's just weird looking at them, oh gosh, <laughs> sorry, gosh. I had some ice cream earlier and it just it won't let me stop burping, but sorry about that. You don't want to hear that. But yeah, um, like the the flying cat, the floating cat here, I did, I didn't, I think I did okay as a fantasy um, animal goes right here. It's literally like a glowing cat almost. I mean, what I did was pretty creative. I, I like the idea of a floating cat flying cat. I know that sounds weird, but I kind of like that idea. It almost brings me back like one of those times when I used to watch Adventure Time and they used to have these weird animal creatures that would be flying. Um, I mean, I personally like it. I know that's not going to be everybody's thing, but and I, I look, so far I actually like the cat, how I drew the cat a little bit more than the person, but that's just me. And I, I, again, the background I did is supposed to really be like nighttime or like if they were out in outer space with all a bunch of stars. I mean, it's okay. I wish I would have made the background a little bit better and more variety in the star shapes on there. But if those are the really big criticism I, as I have in that artwork, then it's all I really have on there. Now, yeah, this is episode, I think, 11. And it, I, this is a Father's Day episode where it's um, 
two characters that I made that were two gay men and they have a kid that they have. Um, this was a actually a very special episode I did because this was an episode that I did after the Orlando, the Orlando um, Pulse nightclub shooting that happened back in 2016, which, oh my gosh, you know, just thinking about it again, it just, it really upsets me still to this day, and oh my god, I mean, just, this was definitely a more special episode that I did, for, and you know, I've had uh, a few positive comments when I actually posted it. Um, I think it was on Twitter. I'm not sure if the users are there anymore, but I don't know if it was Twitter or Facebook, but I definitely had a, um, a few more positive um, comments on this uh, artwork that I did. And just, you know, paying a real big tribute um, after what happened to that shooting. And, um,. I mean, I think this artwork looks okay, but I just, but you know, I think it's the thought that counts that what I was doing more on this artwork than like the actual like process of it really, because I was just, you know, thinking about uh, what was happening that time and um, I, like, I knew what I was definitely doing here in this artwork. I was just trying to show more love, uh, for the world, and th this was pretty much what I was just really more focused on. Um, I, I think I'll definitely do a revamp artwork of this one someday. Um, if you want that next year on, for a Father's Day episode, um, you can let me know down in the comments or by tweeting me or whatever going down on my social media. I really don't care. I mean, uh, I'm not one of those people that are like, oh, if you gotta let me know, you gotta tweet me this or you gotta leave a comment. I personally don't care. I'll, I normally have a pretty good memory so far what you guys want me to do with my channel or any reminders of how I should do my artwork, but yeah. I mean, I, I think I should definitely do a revamp, um, artwork of this. Um, now the shirt on the guy on the right, it was, um, I did this artwork on Microsoft Paint and Sumo Paint, I think, and the Sumo Paint part is where I did a shirt where, um, there's tools on there, um, where you can pick what kind of, uh, paint brush or ink brush you can get there, and it's, like, different designs and, like, shapes and all that, and I pick with, like, some stereotypical flower designs on it and now looking back to it I wish I would have just drawn the flowers itself because with the um with the ink designs and the flowers and the butterflies on here it just looks really tacky to me and I don't know and I think the shirt on the guys um the shirt on the left guy's shirt as well. I think they look pretty tacky to me, but not as much as like the one on the right. But yeah, I think I might do revamp artwork on that one in the near future. Now, I think I might do a revamp on this one. I, I must actually, looking back into it, um, I'll definitely do another revamp. I'll do a revamp artwork on this one as well. I really like this one. I'll definitely, I think the only thing I'll probably change a lot more is how I do my shading and changing the clothes for the most part. But like, most of the color scheme on this one, I really like. This one, the few um, artworks I'm actually okay with. I mean, the designs and twins in this one is pretty good. I mean, I pretty much honestly just copy and paste it to a different, uh, direction. Um, uh, I think the other, uh, criticism I have is with when one of the eyebrows is up and the other one is just, like, down normally, I wish I would have just done for the same direction. Like, if you can see here, how I was just copying and pasting it right here, yeah, I wish I would have just honestly, um, done the same direction as the um, first one that I just did so when look as I don't know but that's just me um, I think when I uh, do a revamp artwork of this one in the near future it's definitely gonna look a, a little bit more different and 
the color shading will definitely look a lot better by then and I'm gonna definitely change the clothes as well because I think the clothes kind of look like a 1980s grandmother would wear that if I'm being honest with you and you know me I'm not into that aesthetic at all whatsoever and now um oh boy this is the patriotic couple artwork um like the actual uh design of the couple himself aren't too bad but again this is not my aesthetic i mean like i said things have definitely changed since then and so i really don't uh, honestly i'm not a fan of this artwork that i've done and i think the biggest criti criticism isn't so much the character designs despite a totally different aesthetic it's definitely the background i and i remember the background i made of this one it's i literally just got that out of google images for um uh an american flag and i just did some like tweaking and editing which by the way i don't recommend you doing that uh, it's something i just do not recommend a, an artist to do that because i've done that plenty of times in the past and you know, looking back to it, it is just not only tacky, it's just, it's directly pretty much stealing from it. And it's not for a legal purpose, it's just, it's not fair to the original person who actually made the, um, the actual background or the, um, artwork for the, that's supposed to be for a background. Like, it's, I don't think it's fair and... You know, looking back into it, I hate the background of this artwork now. I mean, once you'll definitely see it. I mean, I also really don't like the shirt I made for the guy character here. Like, the woman character, I, I definitely did her clothes a lot better than the guy character here, but... Oh my goodness. Yeah, I just... I mean, it's technically drawn a lot better, but just... It just seems wrong to me, is what I'm saying. Especially with the background I got. I literally got that background from Google Images. And I definitely have not done that again since then. And nowadays. But man. I don't know what the hell I was thinking when I did that. And I guess I was just. Again I didn't feel like doing a background of that. And I don't know. I just don't like that. I mean what. Man. Man. I really clearly did not think through things back then. And again, um, with the Pete Wentz fan art um, episode in this one that you're seeing here, I definitely, again, I had to remove the original music because of, I don't want to get a copyright strike on this video and I don't want any, um, I don't want my channel being at risk of getting deleted at all. I mean, I'm surprised my channel hasn't gotten deleted after all the videos that I posted in the years that had music that by, our, known by more well-known artists. I'm, I'm really surprised nowadays that this channel hasn't been taken down since that. But, you know, I've definitely learned a lot as I've gotten older, you know, and with YouTube's algorithm nowadays changing, I'm, I've tried to be a lot more careful about that. And, um, now with this artwork again, um, not really the aesthetic I want nowadays, but this is honestly one of the better ones. I actually really don't mind this artwork. It's very creative, and what was interesting about this one was that I used a cardstock my mom gave to me years ago where it had different designs that or kind of more psychedelic, but in a cool way. I actually started using some of that cardstock in this artwork. Oh, and um, that artwork of the man with the owl tattoo um, earlier with the other artworks that couldn't fit for a full video. Um, I actually used one of the same cardstock too, just in a very different color and design on that too. And I don't know where that cardstock went. I might have used it all. I don't quite remember, but I definitely was using some of it at the time. It was it was kind of fun. And I might do an artwork like that again when I use some kind of cardstock that has some really fancy design like that. That way it wouldn't feel like I'm stealing like 
images from Google anymore, you know, but also having my own aesthetic at the same time and not... Like, you see what I mean by that? And I really... Like, the process of the artwork I did was actually really cool. I might do this kind of um, artwork like this again. Definitely a lot more different aesthetic, but this is one of the few I actually really like. So, I might do something with a more Halloween theme next time. And this is probably another one of my favorite fan art, which is um, Rainbot from YouTube. She's a YouTuber who discusses, like, um creepy topics from online and you really should go check out her YouTube channel. She does, she makes fantastic videos. She's one of those YouTuber, YouTubers I definitely recommend a lot. Now, I think the only thing I really stole, um, I put it lightly somewhat, is when um, I do her shirt design and it's her logo, but it's her logo. It's not like I stole somebody else's logo and just say, hey, this is my fan art, fan art of Rainbot. So, no, this is like a logo she had in the past, like a few years, a few years ago. I mean, it's just a picture of her nowadays when you go to her YouTube channel, but, um, it was an old logo she had back then and... That was the only thing I really got um, for this artwork that was considered stolen. Well, that sounds harsh for me. I Let's just say I used it for a fan art of her. Let's put it that way. But yeah, when, once you see it, it's... I mean, I should have not done that. Again, I should have just done my own background for the shirt and all that, but... I mean, it's a fan art of Rainbot. This is one of the few times where I'm um, getting something, um, so, uh, getting an image out of something was okay. And th let me tell you, that, you see how the, I'm changing the shirt color? That was the most difficult thing to do because I could not decide what shade of black it, or shade of dark blue or what I wanted a shade of dark purple on that shirt. I just could not decide on that shirt color in general. I mean, that was really difficult. I mean, nowadays, I know, like, um, what more darker colors and what now. It's normally the brighter colors. I'm like, okay, which brighter color do I want now? So, I mean, it really goes to show you how much has changed there. And, um, yeah, I think... You know what I take back? I think this is where I actually did start to show off the backgrounds now for this season. I think it was. I think it was like for the very last two episodes here. Um, or a few episodes here. But yeah, this is when I was just starting to really show off how I'd made the background. And now for this last episode of our transformations from season one. I really like this one. This is honestly probably one of the best artworks I've done in a long time. It's a um, traditional sketching with the digital um, editing with the background and the rest of it and it looks fantastic. It still looks good to me nowadays. Even I made this artwork almost four years ago. I mean almost, actually almost three years ago. Yeah, take that back. Almost three years ago. I mean, this I still really enjoy this artwork. I think the only criticism I have is with the uh, shading I did in the hair, I think. I mean, I don't quite remember if I put it, that white gel pen on the... Or I think it was a white marker pen. I didn't have a white gel pen back then until, like, I think either a few um, last year or two years ago. Yeah, but you see, it's the white... Um, shine on the hair that's the only thing i wish i didn't do that but everything else looks fantastic so yeah i hope you enjoyed this commentary i know it's re i was mumbling a lot more than normal but if you guys want to go to my dvnr and red bubble shop to buy any merch or prints and go to my other social media or go to patreon to support me go check it out and i'll see you guys next time